I'm gonna show you two situations when I use this specific tool to find good spots to metal detect. And I'm gonna give away my secrets right now. Welcome to 5280 Adventures. My name is Tony and I really wanna thank you for stopping by. On my channel here, I bring to you tutorials on metal detecting on machines, uh, some research tools that help me find hot spots to hunt oh. and some pretty cool metal detecting adventures. Oh all from the great state of Colorado. Hey, we're gonna jump into this video in a second, but first I wanna tell you 80% of you watching this video right now are not subscribers to my channel. I'm worried about you missing out on all of my metal detecting tutorials and metal detecting adventures. So what I need from you to do right now is to click that subscribe button, click the bell for notifications, and that way you'll be alerted when a new video comes out. Today we're going to discuss a website and an app that I use prior to leaving the house and while I'm out in the neighborhoods looking for places to metal detect. The cool thing is this is completely free and I will guarantee that I will put you on old yards for you to metal detect. So before I leave to go out metal detecting, I pull up a website called Zillow.com. Zillow.com is a website that gives you information about houses to include uh, the year that it was built. This obviously can be valuable information when you're trying to find older yards to door knock and ask for permission and see if you can metal detect their yards. What I'll do is I'll focus on a specific neighborhood on the map, I'll zoom in, and then I'll just start selecting random houses. I'll check for the year that it was built uh, and then just make a determination if that fits the criteria that I'm looking for before I go out and metal detect. Okay, so once I get to the neighborhood, I'm gonna start driving around looking for some more telltale signs to show me the age of the actual neighborhood and maybe some areas that I wanna concentrate on. So what I'm looking at would be the size of the trees, um, a pronounced tree lawn, and maybe some old curbs. That can all tell me a lot about uh, the neighborhood itself. And while I drive around, I'm also looking at some yards that don't appear to have been landscaped for some time. That should allow me to find um, some more natural, maybe some older yards, and that's exactly what I'm looking for. All right, once I find a potential yard, I'm gonna pull up my Zillow app on my cell phone. I'm gonna click on that small triangle in the upper right portion of the screen, and this will find me on the map. It's essentially just using GPS to locate my location. I'm gonna to touch on the yard that I want, and I'm gonna get the info that I need, mainly that being the year that it was built. That was 1929. Now it's up to me to put on my best smile, knock on that homeowner's door, and secure that permission that I'm looking for to metal detect. Hey, if you want some more tips on how to research and find old sites to metal detect, click on this video and continue watching. Thanks for stopping by, and as always, I will see you on the next adventure. Take care.